Every time that my mind slip, I just see my past life. Having dreams in a dream, I wonder why I carried on with the things that made you lose your mind. There's no way I can undo what I've done. Can we be strangers against our fresh luck and morning? Hello, and welcome back to the channel. I'm just quickly cleaning up the kitchen. This morning. Uh, but I have a handful of things I want to get done today. One of them is baby girl is finally, um, well, I don't want to say out of newborn clothes. She still kind of fits in newborn clothes. Um, but she's getting really close that they're going to be too small. Close enough that I figure I want to transfer out all of her newborn to her zero to three. So she's kind of like at a weird stage right now. Uh, zero to three is still slightly big on her, but doable. And newborn fits her, but is getting really close to being um, tight on her. So I want to do that today. Bjorn was asking about decorating their rooms for Christmas. So I talked to the boys because in past years, I've done like a Christmas tree and all the things for them, but it's a lot for them to take care of when it comes to cleaning their room. Plus, they don't have the bunk bed anymore, so there's really not spot for the Christmas tree. So, my thought was possibly just getting them some basic Christmas bedding for their room. And... Just doing something very simple, but I don't really have just like basic Christmas bedding, so I might need to go out and do that. We'll kind of see if I have time today, see how baby girl does today, all the things. But I'm also going to be making um, broccoli cheddar soup today, which I am super excited about. I have, um, kind of falling off the wagon of carnivore. So I need to get back on that, <laughs> but I'm gonna enjoy some broccoli cheddar soup today. I'm still losing weight and everything, um, which is probably why I haven't been like super strict with carnivore, but I do want to get back on that, but I'm making broccoli cheddar soup tonight. My thought kind of was though, I don't know, I'll figure it out. I was thinking maybe I should wait till after the holidays because if this time of year is hard to do anything like that because you have all the holiday stuff um, and I've been really enjoying like holiday baking for the kids and everything so it's just a lot harder to stay on track um, but we'll see we'll see but for tonight we're having broccoli chocolate soup Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door Except that I just pumped, Athena just ate, and I hand wash the bottle parts most of the time throughout the day, except for at least once a day where I run it in the dishwasher. Um, so I want to get those started and ran so that next time I need to pump and everything, it's done. I've been trying out to run 
my life Cause I need to be perfect If I could just be a little better Maybe you could be my salvation especially this one being the garbage, are always the ones that get the dirtiest. These and then right by the sink, which makes sense. So I'm just giving it a quick wipe down. I actually should clean out inside the garbage also because I noticed the other day that that's getting gross, which another very normal thing, especially like the kids don't really pay attention when they're putting stuff in and if they spill it, they don't care. <laughs> they don't clean it up, so. I need you tonight. Together we can go crazy. We can put out the lights. Together we can go, we can go. I look straight in your eyes And everything is so hazy It is just you and I And everything is so, thing is so So call me out, call me out, baby
gonna start dinner, because I'm gonna cook this on low for five to six hours today. So I wanna start it now so that it's ready for later. This is a fairly easy recipe. The only thing I don't have is carrots. Normally I would shred about a cup worth of carrots, but I don't have any. But I'm just taking two bags of frozen broccoli. You could also chop up fresh broccoli, but broccoli is my kid's favorite, so I always have a lot of frozen broccoli on hand. I'm going to dice up one onion. I'm gonna add in four cups of chicken broth or one, what is this, 32 ounce container of chicken stock. This is what makes a huge difference, I think, in my broccoli cheddar soup is adding the cheddar cheese soup mix from Campbell's. Um, you could also do like Velveeta or something, but I like adding this to it. I'm also going to add in about a cup of milk, a cup to two cups, something like that a can of evaporated milk, some Dijon mustard, only about a teaspoon, and then for seasonings, I have some celery salt, do about a teaspoon of that. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of paprika, When it comes to seasoning, you can season it the way you see fit. Uh, biggest thing to remember is you can always add, you can't take away. Um, and you can always taste this later on and add more. So garlic, I'll probably end up doing about a tablespoon. We enjoy garlic in our house. And then of course, salt and pepper. Like I said, I will cook this on low for about five to six hours. Um, and about an hour before it's done, I'm gonna add in some sharp cheddar and all of that stuff, but I don't wanna add that in right now. So just gonna give this a good mix, put it on low and let it do its thing. I'm sick of lying here all alone and nearly sleep aside night. I'm honest. It's boring. One million thousand demons around in me. You picking up fight. It's toxic. You were the best I ever had. total catch-all because she doesn't sleep in here um so I want to tidy up in here but then we're gonna go through her newborn still fit her but barely um so we're gonna 
get rid of all the newborn, hang up all the zero to three, and just reorganize everything. But I'm gonna take this out because she uses this during the day. So. You know the drama is never ending. Don't let it get the best of you. And all the fake friends just keep pretending that's how the little things get huge. Paralyzing every pore. Oh, you feel it taking over you. To the center of your core. core. The lies are getting overused. When you are under the weather, getting caught in the storm. Do you remember? I told you if we dance. recommend that if um, you're expecting not to spend a crazy amount of money on baby clothes. Realistically, Athena wear, wore about 10% of those newborn outfits. Uh, I did get them all off of Facebook Marketplace though for super cheap. Same with all of this clothing. So I don't really mind, but realistically, I would say max you need about 14 outfits and try and make them mostly footsie pajamas. That's the easiest for them. And realistically, till they start like walking and doing all of those things, you don't need all the extra stuff like pants and stuff. She pretty much never goes in things like that. So yeah, definitely recommend footsie pajamas and realistically only about 14 out outfits for each category. So newborn, um, zero to three, three to six even six to nine, maybe nine to 12 is when you can start doing other stuff. But for the most part, if you stick with a handful of footsie pajamas, that is plenty. At night, I lines, all the shady features and all our empty world. Behind the sea, they're picking up the pieces of all broken hearts. But I believe in coloring the world, got a holler to be heard in time. We can fight back, ready to go right by. To the sky. So this is all the clothes that I honestly don't think Athena will wear. It's not the stuff I usually grab for. Usually, like I said, I grab for these sleeper pajamas and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some of these hangers out and hang them back up. But I'm gonna end up putting these in this. That way, just in case, I want something in here. I have it, but it's not taking up space here. 
Plus when I have the boys or someone go get her an outfit, I know she's they're not grabbing her one of these because it's not normally what I would put her in. And it's getting colder outside. Next week it's supposed to be in the 60s all week with lows in the 40s. And for us, that's cold. So all of this realistically won't get worn. But until I go through and get rid of the zero to three, I'm just gonna hold on to it for now. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold. Said we loved one another, guess that we were wrong. I met you in the summer, our love was out of control. kids some Christmas blondies so I have a stick of melted butter now I highly recommend not making these if you don't feel like making them all holiday season because once you make these for your kids they are not going to stop asking for them blondies are one of our family's favorites so to that melted butter I'm adding a cup of brown sugar and then half a cup of white sugar. So we're going to whisk this together till it is fully combined and nice and creamy. Now we have that all mixed together. I'm going to add in two eggs. and a good amount of vanilla. Vanilla's like garlic. You measure with your heart when it comes to vanilla. And we're gonna mix that all together as well. So as you whisk this, you'll notice that it actually changes color. It gets lighter as you whisk. And that is how you're gonna tell that you have it whisked together really, really well is as it changes to that much lighter color. Now we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of baking powder, as well as half a teaspoon of salt. Whisk that all together now. Now to fold in a cup and a half of flour. We're going to add in some chocolate chips, probably about a cup of chocolate chips. 
And then we're also going to add in some Christmas sprinkles to make them more fun. And then of course you want to decorate the top. So I'm going to take just a couple chocolate chip cook chocolate chips. And I've got these white like snowflake sprinkles that I'm going to use. And then some more of the Christmas tree sprinkles throughout it. So they're going to go in here for about 30 minutes. I've been as cold as a bucket of ice. I've been trapped like curious mice. And I've, I've been looking for a way out into the sparkling light. I've been a lost balloon in the blue. And like Tom Free falling without a clue. I didn't know. Now, we, dinner should be done in about 30 minutes. So I'm going to grab out two blocks of sharp cheddar and grate these up. The reason I wait to grate this till um, like 30 minutes before serving is I do want it to melt. But if you grate this too early, you'll end up with getting that like gritty grainy soup. So waiting actually allows it to just incorporate into the soup better than not waiting. So just wait, add it in. And yes, two whole blocks and fresh grated is best. You can buy the pre shredded but with the way the pre-shredded is made, there's like an anti-melting wax on it. Um, so it just does not melt as nicely as freshly grated cheese. So it is definitely worth grating it yourself. And honestly, nowadays with these grating machines, it makes it so much easier to do it. I will say though, this small one, um, I wish I had the larger drum one because the cheese does like to like clog its stuff in there. So I have to make sure to pull it out every once in a while. But this makes life so much easier. Grating cheese so much faster that I pretty much don't buy grated cheese anymore. Because this is easy enough that the boys do it to make their grilled cheese or quesadillas or whatever. Um, it's just not as big of a pain anymore to do it by hand. Now, one thing I did earlier that I didn't show is I don't love huge chunks of broccoli florets. So I took my shears and chopped up any large pieces. I just prefer it that way. So if you do as well and you notice they have larger, just take a scissors to them. It's not that hard. But we're going to put all this cheese in here to melt. <clears throat> and using the sharp cheddar or extra sharp cheddar just adds a lot more flavor than mild cheddar. So go in with the sharp cheddar. It's definitely worth it. And I'm actually going to turn this off because this is plenty hot. It'll melt and combine everything the way it is. Um, and then 
actually it cooling down slightly before serving dinner is actually a good thing. Now I'm gonna quickly clean up the kitchen before dinner. That way, all we have to worry about is our dishes with dinner and nothing else. This is always one of my favorite dinners, and it turned out so good. I did end up just going to Panera and ordering their bread bowls, just the sourdough bread bowls, because last time I tried to make bread bowls, I totally, like, botched it, and I was craving a bread bowl, so that made it easy. Um, but now, after dinner, I just wanted to tidy up the house. I've been trying to do this more at night, just... A basic tidying just because everything's so hectic right now that it's hard to get everything done in a day so just going around and giving everything just a real quick cleaning You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I With your colors They kind of tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart 
There's something different about the way we are. Are, are, are. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's something different about us. After cup after cup, yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just to block out the real life, real life. Yeah, we're loving the way they think we're so messed up. up. Even if what we're doing is bad, there's so many emotions. Sharing stories that we never had yet, none is real. I think we're searching for reasons not to be like them. them. We fly around like paper planes, they never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us, still they want to tear us apart. There's something different about the way we are. Are, are. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's something different about us. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. We definitely got a lot done on this day between just basic tidying around the house, holiday baking, dinner, and then helping Bobby with uh, the decorations outside. I was definitely ready for bed at this point. If you guys made it all the way to the end, I would love if you guys left your favorite emoji down below whatever is your favorite just leave that down below um and a quick hi i always love seeing who makes it all the way to the end but just to finish up my night i just want to turn on the robot vacuum and then turn off all the lights throughout the house the kids were already in bed at this point so it was just my turn to finally wind everything down and go to sleep myself don't forget to like, comment, share this video on your favorite social media, and subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.